Alright gang, welcome to March, and welcome back to the Pioneer Challenge on Alone in the World. Some new things have been happening a little bit on the farm today. Specifically, the sorghum is ready to harvest, so that is great. That means we can actually get some chickens going, and we can get some more sorghum flour going, so that's awesome. Another thing that we did is we got rid of some more of the trees, and we expanded our grapevines. Now, it's not the point where I want it to be at yet, but it is a significant increase from where we were. Um, it's quite a lot now. So that should definitely help us with our processing of, of turning those grapes into, you know, the juice and everything else, right? So, uh, raisins, anything else we decide to make. So, uh, eventually, my goal is to kind of just keep carrying this down to here, right? And obviously, it'll get smaller and smaller as they get closer to the road here, but... So far, we've got a we've got a nice nice little track here. Now, things we have to accomplish today is we've got to fertilize these, all right. And then, like I said, we have to do the harvest of our sorghum field over here, and then we can expand this one. Obviously, we have to get rid of some more stumps over here, but we can expand it out, try to make it look a little bit more like a realistic uh, field, I guess. Uh, and then we have to fertilize uh, the field we drilled in the last episode. This one for the second application. So those things all have to be accomplished today, or well, at least in March. We could do two episodes for it, but at least in March. So lots and lots to do. So without further ado, let's get started here. Uh, we are going to start with the Hardy Rubicon 9000. Now, I believe it was Matthew, one of my channel members, who brought up the idea, and I didn't even think about trying it, that I could potentially fertilize the grapes utilizing this. Which is good, right? We could then sell the other uh, fertilizer spreader. Um, but I think the problem is going to be is that this machine, I think it, even though it's high up in the air, I think it's still too low, and I think it's going to hit these vines. I think I could get the arm out far enough, more than likely, to do this. But it would mean I'd have to have or leave some kind of a track in between uh, to be able to drive this down, right? So I don't know if it's really the the best approach or not, but we'll, we'll give it a shot and see what happens here. We'll at least test it out. But it's definitely long enough, as you can see. Definitely. So. But we would be wasting a lot of it doing this because I don't think I can drive down the middle. Like I said, I'm going to give it a shot, but I don't think I can. I can definitely put that up high enough, but I don't think... Let's just try to drive down it and see what happens. Yeah, there's no way. Oh. Oh, I stand corrected. We can drive down it. Well, not really. Not not well. We can't drive down it well. There's a l tiny window. I'm not really sure I want to take the chance on that. Um, it's basically right here between the, the tires here. I have to drive kind of like this the whole way. If I do that, it'll work. But I think it's technically... It's technically... Oh, boy. I think it's... I think it's... Oh, boy. I think it's technically clipping them right here. Oh yeah, I'm not gonna do this. Oh boy, this is this could get real bad real quick. But you get the point, right? We have the potential to do this. It just means we would waste a lot more of our fertilizer doing so. Um, so I don't think I'm going to do it. At least not yet. Maybe when we get some more grapes, uh, more grapevines, I should say, maybe then we'll do it, right? Because then we, if we have a track going down the middle that we can drive this down, then maybe we do that then. But for now, I don't think it's the smartest play. So we're not going to do that. We'll do it the old-fashioned way. Which is fine. It'll take longer, but that's fine. That's fine. So, while, uh, while we already have this out, let's just go ahead and spray this field down over here. But how's everybody doing today? Hopefully, uh, hopefully you're all doing well. I'm not sure how many of you, if any of you, are, uh, football fans, but I actually have my fantasy football draft tonight, so... We'll see how that goes. Um, I had a couple of streaks in a row, like a three-peat streaks in a row, and then there's been a couple of, of years now where, unfortunately, I have not uh, not been doing as well as I had in the previous period. 
So I'm hoping to turn that around today. Now, great at the the when you're watching this, this would be Thursday, right? So my my draft is on Tuesday, so a couple days ago. I'm a little behind again on. Uh, ooh, that's too short. I'm a little be behind again on doing my videos. I've mentioned it many times before, but I like to have five videos out on the channel ready to go. They may not have all of the stuff done, and what I mean by that is it may not have the t you know the thumbnail done, all the you know the text and everything that I have to put in. All that may not be done, but. I like to at least have them all uploaded, so that way, if something comes up, like it has recently with with work and, and other things, I, uh, you know, I've got I've got a bit of a bit of a window, a bit of a bandwidth there to uh, be okay for a couple of days. So a little behind, but I mean, not too bad. I mean, we we still have this one will be you know for Thursday. Like I said, you're watching this on Thursday. Uh, this is Tuesday night that I'm doing this. My draft starts here in about an hour. So hopefully we get this video done within an hour. But if not, then I'll just have to do it in, in segments, right? I think I just missed a good chunk there in that corner. But yeah, hopefully everybody's doing well today. Hopefully things are uh, things are going well for you, all things considered. Now, one thing I do want to do... I haven't done it yet. I did put some more um, trees into our firewood that um, uh, production that we did in the, in the last episode, but I haven't gone and looked at the pallet of, of firewood. Never done a, a firewood uh, production at all. Um, so, uh, I'd like to go look at them, and then I probably want to turn them on auto-selling, because the price, re I mean, it fluctuates a little bit, but it's not... It's not anything crazy, so I'm just going to keep it always on auto-selling. It just makes it easier for us. One less thing to manage, and we can just then focus on the flower among, you know, the animals and everything else that we have to do, right? So when we're done with this, we'll go take a look at that real quick. Should hit it. Yep. There's just one little tiny spot down here. I'm gonna grab, and then we're we're gonna be called good, good enough at least. And we'll head to our firewood production. Good deal. All right, let's fold this thing up. Let's head on over to the firewood production. All right, we are at our fire production. That's pretty cool. It's nice. I doubt they'll let me pick that up, but that's pretty nice. So we have two of them. I think that's plenty. Let's just put them on selling now. We've got enough wood in there. Like I said, and I put some wood in there. Uh, it's not maxed out. It was pretty much maxed out when I put it in there. I just took wood from this area, which she said we were going to do, right? So I started just kind of going this way with it a little bit. Eventually, we'll get most of these gone because we want to try to round out this, this field as well, right? Try to make it look a little bit better, so... Get rid of all of these trees in this region here. Stump grind them all up, and then uh, we'll be able to expand the field. That's why the stump grinder is over here, too. But not bad. Not bad. So uh, the firewood, I think, uh, like we talked about, I think it's it, the price it doesn't really fluctuate too much. So uh, let's take a look here. Yeah, firewood in bulk, 2,149. It, it, well, it actually does fluctuate. I am sorry. It does fluctuate. I thought I, I thought I looked at this. Maybe I looked at it wrong. I thought it was only like four hundred dollars fluctuation, so I wasn't really going to care that much. But with that kind of fluctuation, we absolutely do care. So I stand corrected. I apologize. We are going to have to put that back onto story. My mistake. Well, that's good. I mean, that that's going to make us some good money. If that's the price they're going to sell it to us for, uh, two four eight four. That's I'm in. I'm in for that. I mean, actually, the price right now isn't that bad, so maybe I should put it on selling for right now. Yeah, we'll put it on selling for now. But I just got to remember when we get towards the summer months to uh, to stop to stop uh, have it on selling and uh, flip it back to storing. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'll try to memorize that. Just try to keep me honest in the comments, gang, in case I forget about it. And it's uh, I mean the time. Well, obviously, when we get to June, right? Because we're going to stop in June. It's going to all change. Like the the prices are all going to change, but. Because the way we have this set up is we, we actually started it when we shouldn't have, I guess. I should have just picked the month we were in. But I decided to make the month June, so it would always be June. So we're just kind of waiting to get all the way back around to June. And once June hits, then we're, uh, we're going to be stuck on June. 
for the remainder of the series. Because that's the way that it was set up. So, today um, means we're going to get at least one more of the items on uh, on our docket to uh, for stage one complete. Because we're going to get the chickens today. We already had the coop, but we didn't have any chickens in it. So I wasn't really counting that as, as complete. So once we get those chickens today, that will be complete. We also have a good amount of flour, as you can see, ready to go here. Uh, as far as the storage of it, I don't know how that's doing. I don't know if it's still full or not. I guess it's just out. It's out. Okay. Oh, no. There's 9,346 liters of it stored in there. So... These are 1,000 liters, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we're at 15,346 liters. Is that right? Did I do my math right? I think so. So, 15,346. Hold on a second, gang. Hold on. Bear with me for a minute here. Let me pull up, let me pull up the rules here. Do, do, do. And here it is. We have to sell 25,000 liters of flour. So, based off of those numbers, we've only got about 10,000 to go. So the sorghum we have here should more than enough pay for stage one. Then the remaining thing left to do at that point is just get the pigs, which means we just have to get some more products, some more food, um, some more crop harvested. And then uh, we'll be in good shape. So let me get the lizard top liner out here. Uh, as a matter of fact, we haven't done this yet. Let's see, uh, there's nothing on the used market. Oh, well, that sucks. I was going to say, let's see what's in the used market. We always check it and uh, make sure there's nothing out there that makes sense for us to buy, but there ain't a damn thing out there for us, so. We're going to save the uh, the grape stuff for the, uh, for the end here. Uh, we will not be re-drilling this field in this episode. We'll save that for episode two for March day two. Uh, we do have to do some stuff with Jester two today. Now we probably need to mow the grass on the grapes as well down below. Mow up the grass there. We can do that in the next episode too. Alright, let's turn everything on here. Let's get everything set up how we want it. Uh, looks like everything's good. Yep, we're good there. Oop, I did not mean to do that. And flip her on, and we are going. Nice. Now, I think what I'm going to do when we uh, have to unload this, I think what we're going to do is we're going to go at unloading into uh, the mill at a different angle here. Um, we're not going to go the traditional way. We're going to kind of back it up into it, and hopefully that won't cause the issue we had last time. If you recall, and if you haven't seen it, you should go back and see it. Uh, the very first day we harvested, we had some oat, and uh, oh, man. Whew. Was that a doozy. We were jumping all over. The, we had glitches. We had jumping all over the place. We were flipping. That was something. Then we ran into a glitch with Jester. Man, that was that was just a that was a rough episode. <laughs> uh. Now, realistically, because this one is a little bit of an unrealistic uh, hopper size within the actual harvester itself. I could probably just harvest the field and then just use the pipe and, and dump it in there. Probably no problem, but uh, we're, go we're not going to do that. We're going to uh, try to keep it relatively reasonable. The only thing really unrealistic about this is the, just the size, how much it can hold in it. That's, that's about it, so everything else is relatively realistic, so... We just kind of keep an eye on that ourselves, and for the most part, we'll, we'll be good. So you can see I got a few more trees over here off the hill, uh, but there's still a ton, right? We, we haven't even really scratched the surface. We're just now barely, just barely over there, if you look close enough, to starting to see that little... Oh, I don't know what you call it. Um, if you look in the, the mini-map there that I just pulled up in the bottom 
Here, I'm gonna get bigger. The mini map there in the middle, where the arrow, if you look to the left of that arrow, there's like a circle entrance area in between those trees. We can just barely see that uh, back there on that corner if you look close enough. You really can't see it now, but back on that corner, you can just barely grasp the fact that that is there. What a beautiful day. There's not a cloud in the sky, gang. Not a single cloud in the sky. Beautiful day. So, um, I won't lie to you, some of this will probably be put onto a, a worker as well, right? Especially when we're going to be doing some unloading and, and things like that, right? We'll, we'll put a worker on it. Just to help us out a little bit, we can unload this, you know, when the worker's doing their thing, and then obviously at some point we can take back over for the, for the worker if need be. Now, those grapevines I put in that I showed at the very beginning, those things are so expensive. They are outrageously expensive. So you may think to yourself, well, see, you still have $23,000. It must have been that bad. <laughs> I sold a lot of trees. It just doesn't really look like it. But I sold a lot of trees, gang. Um, we had over 100,000 wood chips. So it was $130,000 in wood chips, something like that. So there was quite a lot of money. I think we had like $45,000, $50,000. Might have been a little bit more than that even. Uh, I don't exactly recall the amount. But uh, in any case, we had a lot of money. And... Uh, they just ate through it. I mean, those vines we have now are going to be really, really helpful. But, man, they're expensive. So the little idea I have, and I'm, I'm going to still do it, but the other portion, the extended portion of that idea, which was to maybe potentially have those vines go up into the hills where the trees currently are that we haven't taken down. Uh, if you look where, they, where the actual... Oh, let me go. Quick save here. Hold on a second. Uh, if you go down uh, here, you, these trees right here, we're going to get rid of some of them and carry the, carry on with the grapes up into the hills there. That may not come to fruition. Uh, maybe it will. I don't know. But probably won't. So our next big major objective, I know we have the pig, um, the pig pen over there, which really we want to get some pigs here soon. But really, for me, I think the next big objective, since we're going to have the chickens done today... I want to get the loan paid off. Because if we get the loan paid off, then we are allowed to start utilizing a lot more of the unrealistic stuff. And what I mean by that is we can utilize, whether it's the same one or a different one, we can utilize the one production where you put all the grass into it and it turns it into silage for you. Then we can go to the BGA routes and all that stuff, right? That's just going to set us up for, uh, for the future there, so... Now, there are some bonus objectives with this series that you, you can, there, everything's in the description if you ever want to look at it, but there's some bonus, there's some bonus, uh, objectives, talk straight Z, bonus objectives, um, that I would like to try to, to tackle in this series as well, and that's something we have yet to do, so, uh, one of those being TMR. Now, we pretty much have, well, for the most part, we pretty much have what we need to start doing TMR. We have plenty of grass. We can make hay, no problem. Uh, but I'd like to make use one of the, one of those productions. I would like to make one of those productions a hay production. So we just turn the grass and, and put the grass into it, and then it turns into hay. But realistically, to do that, if I don't really want to break the rules, I'm not. I don't necessarily know if it would be breaking the rules or not. But in my eyes, I think it is. Uh, I need to get the loan paid off first before I use some of those unrealistic things that will just turn stuff into whatever it is you want. So the other option I have here, right, is how am I going to keep track, and I've said this many, many times, right, and, and it's been kind of confirmed to me, there is no way to really do it in the actual game itself, but how am I going to keep track of how much flour I've sold? I think the easiest way to do it, maybe a little annoying, but I think the easiest way to do it is just to not sell any of the flour until you have enough. You get what I'm saying? 
Like, if I wait, and I just store all the pallets of flour until I have 25,000, and then I go and sell it, then I know for a fact I've sold 25,000. I know for a fact. The only way to do it, which I've talked about already, is to, you know, do some kind of, uh, you know, pen and paper and, and keep track of it one way or another. Just bear with me for a minute here, gang. I wanted to see where the drop point was. I kind of forgot because it had been a couple of episodes since we put this in. Alright, so it holds actually a decent amount of sorghum in there. But the sorghum's in there, so that means, gang, it's time to buy some chickens. And we're gonna go, we're gonna go chicken heavy here. Let's buy one rooster. Now, I could go with the cheaper ones, but, um, I, I'm, I'm gonna go with the ones where they can reproduce. And I'm not gonna buy them all. We won't buy all 46. I wanna get, actually, some free money out of this. But we're gonna buy a good portion of them, probably like 30. There we go. So there's room for 17 of them to uh, reproduce. Fantastic, gang. The chickens are done. That is uh, that is one objective crossed off. So now, for stage one, the the goals were to build two of each animal pen. Uh, excuse me. Build um. Yeah, build two uh, animal pens of some sort. So we've got the chicken pen, and then we've got the the pigs, which we haven't put any pigs in yet. I wasn't counting those as checked off until we actually had the animal. So one of the two are done. Sell 25,000 uh, 25, liters of flour. We're very close on that, as you saw. Only 10,000 away. So this sorghum we have here should definitely do it. Um, and then pay off the debt. Now the debt, we've got quite a lot, I think, still to pay off on that. I think we paid some off recently. Um, but yeah, we still have 200,000. So uh, the trees can easily get us there. I don't want to just do the entire thing of just doing trees. I think that's a little bit... I don't know if unrealistic is the right word to say, but I feel like that might be a little bit too cheaty, maybe? Maybe it's not. I don't know. Well, maybe at least with the wood chips it might be a little too cheaty. I don't know. Maybe it's not, though. I could be I could be just over overanalyzing it, overthinking it. So here's what I'm talking about, about doing this a little bit untraditionally. So really, I should just be driving forward on it, but that overhang there... That is, that is what was causing his issues last time. So if I do it like this, because of the way that it tips, this should be okay. Does mean we probably need to work on the, the land here a little bit more, right? Yeah, see, that, that worked out no problem whatsoever. So we've got sorghum in there, so we should be making sorghum now. Sorghum flour. Nice. We got to keep an eye on the outgoing products, though. Once we get to a certain point, it won't allow us to store anymore. But it looks like... We should, in theory, be able to get to 25,000 liters of flour uh, just by keeping it there in the storing process. So, this is really good. This is really, really good stuff here, gang. Really good stuff. This is exciting. A lot of our stage one objectives here are going to be complete um, very, very soon. If not this episode, probably March day two. They will be complete. So, with all that, gang, we let's uh, let's let's get this thing done. Let's let's uh, let's knock out this field. There's not actually as much left as you might anticipate, um, but there's there's still probably thirty thousand liters here. So let's get it done.
All right, that wasn't too bad. Didn't take too long. I mean, we still have a little bit left to do there, but, uh, you know, that's it's not much, right? So we're going to put the rest of this in the mill. I think I might keep the rest of the sorghum for now. Um, just for the chicken's sake, right? And then eventually, if, we, if we're able to get some more wheat, sorghum, whatever it is here soon, we can dump this in here if we want to. Just depends on what we decide to do, right? So let's do a quick save here. That should be, I think, in theory, enough sorghum uh, to easily get us to where we want to be with the flowers. So hopefully we're uh, we're going to be there just a matter of time, just waiting it out, right? So hopefully we'll be there soon. Now, we're going to leave this here for right now while the worker continues to do their thing. Uh, let's, let's start this up. Let's dump some water in there for Jester. Let's see how Jester's actually doing. I'm sure he's probably okay. Yeah, he's fine. Um... He needs to be rowed today, and he's a little bit dirty, but it's not too bad. Um, I'm not going to put any more food in there just yet. Um, yeah, I won't put any more food in there just yet. Sorry, gang, I hit my microphone there. Now, I think we have um, some hay and straw in there. Yep, so like I said, the TMR is pretty easy for us to do. We still have a tiny bit of oat, and that's specifically for Jester. We're going to leave that there until we get another Jester, or another Jester, another field of oat ready to go. Uh, just as, you know, a precaution for Jester, in case needed. So, let's get into... Where did I leave it? It was over here. The Fit 211. We'll hook up the sprayer here, and we're going to get the uh, the grape sprayed. Now, some of them are going to need a second application, and others will not. The new strings we put in there will not need a new application, um, but the others will. So, we're going to have to kind of just run through it, and then uh, keep an eye on it between, uh, well, I guess it won't be the next episode, because it'll, it'll have to be April, right? And then uh, do it again in April. So what we're going to do here is we're going to spray and then we'll mow in the next episode. Uh, so March Day 2 we'll do some mowing because you can see the grass there is pretty, pretty long. It needs to be mowed up. So Now I don't necessarily want to do two time lapse back to back. I really don't enjoy doing that. I don't think it's that good of content for you to watch either. So uh, we won't do a time lapse here. We'll maybe just do a bit of a jump cut whenever I have nothing else to say. Now I think uh, we talked about this previously, and, and I and I know I think a few of you mentioned in the comments, and I should have went back and looked, but I did not do that, so forgive me. But I think I don't think I even need to go down this path here, but I'm going to I'm going to do it anyway. It's not that expensive for us to do this. Uh, well, the fertilizer is, I guess, a little pricey, but it doesn't use up that much, so I'm not that concerned about if I, you know, double fertilize it, you know, I, it doesn't really bother me that much. So, we're, we're going to do it this way, just to make sure we hit everything. Now, the outside edge over there, you'd be as you'd be saying, well, you didn't hit that on the uh, second side of it. You're right, I didn't. Uh, we probably will do that, though, but let's get the middle ones done first, then we can look at it and see how it goes. But everything's going really, really well. Man, I'm, I'm, I'm ecstatic about where we've got to uh, on the series so far, and, and how far we've come. Uh, right? We, we've, we've accomplished a lot in, in a very short, well, at least what it feels like to me, a very short period of time. Uh, we've set ourselves up to uh, succeed here pretty quickly, I think. Um, you know, just getting rid of some more trees with um, the firewood and or the wood chips both will easily get us to being able to buy another plot of land. We should easily be able to put another mill in. The only animals remaining, really, well, I think we had to do all five and then on the second farm, right? So, we had to do them all again, with the exception of horse, right? We've got to do the pigs, cows, chickens, sheep. And what's the other one I'm missing? Well, you know what I'm missing. Whatever it is, I'm, I'm blanking on that one. In any case, um... So we've got, uh, you know, a lot to do, but I think that uh, where we've got to so far has really set us up for uh, for the success we're looking for. So, I'm really, really happy about it. And hopefully, you are too. It seems like you're all enjoying this, this series a lot, so. It's been a lot of fun. 
This one's a lot of fun. It's a great challenge by uh, Rusty and Crusty. Full crop, full full crops. Well, I guess I could call full crops. Full props and credit to them on uh, making this challenge. Something that is a little bit, it's definitely challenging and definitely pushing some of us that we've never really done some of the stuff we're doing, at least you know, those of us that do the challenges here. Um, so it's definitely pushing us to do some things out of our comfort zone, what we're used to doing. I've mentioned it before, and, and, and luckily it's not that difficult, but I, I really haven't utilized a whole lot of the horse stuff. So, um, And I really don't do pigs very often on my channel either. I do pretty much everything else. Well, I have at least done everything else to an extent. I did do pigs for a brief period of time on the uh, gator challenge. I do mostly sheep, chickens, and uh, bees. That's, that's my that's my normal. And then I throw cows in there from time to time. I do enjoy doing cows. I just, for some reason, pigs are always, I guess, the last thing I think about doing. I don't know why. I don't know why. I think it's just because a lot of the stuff that I want to do with production-wise, it requires milk, and I think that's the reason why. Um... And then a lot of the stuff I like to, you know, make clothes and things like that. It's all, you know, wool, so sheep. And then chickens are just easy, right? And then a lot of the times the, the milk that I'm trying to utilize for production, I need eggs for it too. So the chickens just make sense, right? So, all right, so we've gone down that a couple of times here. Let's, uh, I mean, it, it does say, look like on the outside that it could use some, right? There's some area that's been mulched, but you can see there, there's prime area right there that some of it's been, um, only has one application and some of it needs another application. You can easily see it. Let's go down this path again. Maybe we'll have to mulch some stuff up tomorrow. 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 I'm probably going to do the recording for the next episode tomorrow. That's why I said that, but you get what I mean. For the next episode, maybe we'll have to do, in, in the March day two, maybe we'll have to do some, um, uh, maybe we'll do some mulching too. We'll see. We'll see. I know you don't necessarily have to do the mulching for the grapes. You can, and it, I think it helps your yield. But I don't think you necessarily have to do it. Now, there are some tree stumps over here from trees we took out. We're going to have to get rid of those stumps um, if we want to expand this anymore. It, it's going to start having issues saying there's something in the way. But as you can see, it really didn't take up that much fertilizer. I mean, just look at it. It basically took no fertilizer at all to do this. So I'm okay with wasting a little bit, if, if, even, if you even want to call it that, right? If, if I'm even really wasting it. I don't think I am. All right, and we're done. Nice. So let's go put this away. And then we'll see. I think the worker's done over there. Yep, they are. So we'll go ahead and get that uh, unloaded. We'll see how much we actually get out of that. Um, if it's, you know, if it's too much, we'll dump some more into the mill, but I think it's probably going to be just about the right amount for that trailer. Make sure they didn't miss anything. Looks like they did our right job. Yeah, 2,212 liters, that's stuff we're going to keep. We're just going to put that into the, the, the actual silo. Uh, we'll keep that for the chickens for now. Now, I don't suspect that we're, we're, we'll be running out of this uh, between, you know, when this when this field has been ready to harvest and when the next one's ready to harvest, because I think they're all getting pretty close. Yeah, a lot of them are getting real close. So, um, I mean, the wheat will cover it for us. We don't really have to worry about that. So... Yeah, good. So let's go put this away. And uh, then we'll take the uh, the trailer and we'll drop that off at the, uh, the silo. Alright. Chickens are out there, enjoying life. They're happy. Let's put the, uh, the sorghum here in the silo. And then uh, we'll jump on Jester and uh, take care of his daily requirement. Do this a little bit untraditional. I'm not going to back it in. I'm just going to wrap it around the side here. It's going to be a little bit easier. And just park it over here where we normally park it by the tree. Let's 
Alright, let's see. Nothing in the used sale still. Always want to look. Never know. May find something good. Alright. Now, what are we going to put back into that field over there? So the next episode, we're going to put uh, something in up there. I think what we'll end up doing um, is probably wheat. So, just a, 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 a kind of a, a note. I, I asked a couple episodes ago what you wanted me to put in that field over there, but then I ended up doing, uh, recording the video before that, that episode that I asked that had been released to you. So, uh, I kind of just picked something and then I put uh, canola in over there. So, I got one of the ones that you wanted me to put in, but the other one you wanted me to put wheat in. So, I think we'll put wheat in this big field here. So, what we're going to do is, uh, next episode between, well, I guess we'll do it in the next episode. We're going to come through here. We're going to uh, plow this up and try to kind of expand this field itself out just a little bit more. So it'll still be an awkward shape, but it should be a little bit more realistic of a shape. So come right around in here. Just kind of run with the edge here of the hill, right? All the way down here towards the end. Somewhere in this vicinity. Just kind of wrap it around with it, right? Just kind of... You get, you get the point. Just kind of wrapping it this way and then connecting it back down to here. So, uh, definitely going to expand the field out a, a good amount. It's going to give us a lot more crop, uh, which is all really good things. That's really going to help us. Now, these two trees here, and the tr these, I guess those four trees, really, I should say. I, I don't really want to get rid of these two trees, but I might end up having to do so. I don't know yet. I'm, I'm going to think about that some more. I don't love getting rid of all the trees. I want to have some trees just kind of scattered around. So, I don't know yet. I, I might keep those. But we'll see. We'll think about it. Uh, so the chickens are going good there. We'll get some eggs going here soon. That'll be really nice for us. Um, yeah, everything uh, everything is going relatively well. We shouldn't have to do a second application of fertilizer on the canola field back there in the back. Let's just double check my statement there because it was just grass before so it should have already had one application yep we don't so we're good there so yeah everything's going well now it's just a matter of us getting the loan paid off um getting the flower done which like i said that should be done here in an episode or two we just have to wait for the sorghum to get uh chewed through at the mill and then get the uh get the pigs and we're uh, done with stage one and then it's on to stage two which is a very brief stage honestly uh it's just buy another plot of land in another mill so that we can do pretty quickly. Stage 3 is going to take a significant amount more. Uh, there's a lot to Stage 3. So, we're going to leave the episode there, gang. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, I would appreciate it if you hit the like and subscribe button. It's free and it helps me out a ton. If you have any thoughts, questions, comments, or ideas, feel free to let me know down below in the comments. I'm happy to get back to you on those. Um, check out my other channel if you haven't done so already. Like I said, if you're a subscriber here and you're not a subscriber there, I'd appreciate it if you do so. Uh, I'm trying to get to a thousand there and uh, do a lot of different uh, playthroughs of campaign games, uh, non farming simulator stuff on that channel. So check it out, Zorch Entertainment. Links down below in the description. And until next time, I'll catch each and every single one of you in the next episode.